All right, Morgan State University has a new man who will roam the sidelines coming up on Saturday. Damon William Wilson is the Bears' new football coach. He was introduced today on campus, and that's where we find WMAR2 News' Sean Stepner. He has more on Wilson and the big names he, who he beat out. When it comes to the hiring of Damon Wilson here at Morgan State, university leadership says all you have to do is look at his track record. He's a proven winner. That's why he's the new head football coach of the Bears. Wilson introduced Friday as the program's 23rd head coach. He comes to Morgan after 13 years at Division II Bowie State, the last three leading the Bulldogs to conference championships. I think the timing was right. Morgan has a, tr a uh, rich history uh, from an academic standpoint, as well as football. Athletically, they have some real great years here, a lot of great years, I should say, here, uh, and I want to bring that back. Wilson replaces Tyrone Wheatley, who resigned to be an assistant coach with the Denver Broncos. The 45-year-old Prince George's County native was actually hired a couple of weeks ago. He's been busy since. I'm extremely excited. And I can't sleep at night just putting pieces together uh, because the guys I've met so far, man, they've been outstanding. What do you think of the roster? I think it's some pieces there. You know, I'm excited. Some guys that can actually run around and play football. So I'm excited about those guys, but I need to bring some more pieces in to complement the ones that we have. And he's targeting Baltimore for those new pieces. We have to win a recruiting battle in our backyard. Wilson is the first hire for new athletic director Dina Freeman Patton. She's a Lake Clifton High School grad and the first woman athletic director in Morgan history. Our official first day is also June 1st. Coaches and mine were both June 1st. So we're going at this together. Wilson says he hopes to have his coaching staff together by the end of next week. I'm told university officials met with 10 candidates for this open coaching position. Two of the men Wilson beat out, former Ravens and Pro Football Hall of Famers, Ray Lewis and Ed Reed. At Morgan State, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.